Hey guys, you're watching Swerve on YouTube and today we've got a pretty quick tutorial. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pretty sweet background. Um, for those who don't know, my background is set to 1920 by 1080p just to get that out of the way. Um, so first of all, we're going to get the rectangle tool and mine's set to yellow in color and I'm going to resize it to the size of the artboard. All right, and we're going to lock it in place by selecting this area here. All right, so the next bit would be to make a new layer and get the ellipse tool right here. And we're gonna resize it holding shift and dragging like that. And I'm gonna switch from fill to stroke and select purple. All right, so the next bit you wanna do is increase the stroke just so you can see it. And what we're gonna do is go over to the stroke tool on the side and select dash lines. All right, so mine's set to 140, it's a bit off. So I'm gonna increase it by one more. All right, that looks good. And what we're gonna do is increase it. Holding shift actually speeds it up. So what you wanna do is hold shift and go up. Um, I think by holding shift, it goes up in tens instead of ones like that so um let's increase it a bit more you want to make sure you don't go too far otherwise you have a circle in the center um i'm gonna take it down that's pretty good and i'm gonna go to object expand and okay all right so that's the first bit done now to move on to the second bit um so we're gonna resize it to the size of the artboard and we're gonna center it both vertically and horizontally like that and let's rotate it all right um i'm gonna rotate it a bit more to the right all right that looks pretty good um so what we're gonna do is go to effects distort and transform and twist so this is where the magic happens actually hold on the magic hasn't happened yet um we need to select the shape we want to twist and go to effects distort and transform and twist all right so this is where the magic happens so we're gonna press preview and as you can see we've got a really nice twist going on so um, we're gonna increase it using this um, you can twist it either way you like I'm gonna twist it um, 50 degrees and okay and I'm gonna go to object expand appearance and it should make it into a shape I'm gonna center it one more time. So vertically, horizontally, and that's looking pretty cool. All right, so next thing we need to do just to clean things up is to add a mask. So I'm gonna get the rectangle tool once again. I'm gonna make it white and go from the top corner to the bottom corner like that. And I'm gonna press Control A Oh yeah, sorry about that. Um, you see when I was resizing this shape here, I was holding Alt and Shift to resize it. Um, I forgot to mention that. All right, so let's get the rectangle tool once again. Um, I'm gonna go with white and go from the top corner to the bottom corner. And this is gonna be our mask. And we're gonna press Control A, go to the transparency bit and make mask. Right, so if you want to edit the inside of the um, shape while in a mask, you want to unlink it first. And now you can change the rotation of it and move it about within the mask, like so. All right, so I'm going to rotate it till I like it. All right, that looks pretty cool. All right, so it kind of looks like um, a Cadbury kind of advert background look, if you get what I mean and it looks pretty cool so if you want to change the outside bit you just want to select the mask over here and stretch it out to the edges all right that's perfect all right so what i was saying before was um you could use this background with really nice text and make a really nice background to go with your wallpaper or anything else you know client work stuff like that it's a really good 
method or you know technique to learn so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like subscribe and comment and i'll see you in another video